there you go. There it goes. There we go. Just watch her for a minute. This is fun. That's the shake. We like that. There you go. Ducky, come on back now. Duck! You have got to scream. She's deaf. <laughs> come here. Come here, Duck. Duck. Come here. Duck. Come on. Wow. She's just, um, <laughs> she's a free spirit. <laughs> All right, this, look at this. This is a great photo right here, if anybody's taking a photo. I have Ducky here today. Duck, like quack, quack, Ducky. And I have Mike here today. Mike and I, um, we met, I don't know, probably over a year ago, but we did some work with some rescue farms together. Yeah. And he's done a lot of work in that area for way over 10 years. Yeah. Saving animals, animal welfare. So we, we have that, that bond and Ducky, is a rescue dog too. So tell us how you met Ducky. I met Ducky 14 years ago. I got her when she was two months old. Mm -hmm. She was rescued and I got her out of a kill shelter. She was found abandoned on the highway in Georgia and uh, she's been my little soulmate ever since. Okay, so 12 years ago she had knee surgery. Yeah. That's interesting, but I mean interesting because of how the extent of the surgery, her whole kneecap fell off. Her kneecap fell off and the vet had to groove out a new, a, like a new home for yeah. the kneecap and then screwed it all back in and place. And it worked though. It worked. Yeah, and then she began running again eventually. When and she, she's had a great yeah. life and yeah. she's just you now getting older and okay. hips seem to be struggling a bit. And but she has no known hip dysplasia or anything that showed up. No. So she's been very sound. Uh, once in a while you said her, her back hip can slide out a little bit. Yeah, she's having um, difficulty getting up off like wood floors, of mm -hmm. course. All right, so we're gonna give her a, a senior dog tune-up. And um, just like people need chiropractic, in my opinion, uh, so do animals. And um, we're just gonna go through from top to bottom and I'll see what I find. And we'll just do a nice little adjustment. Okay? Sounds good. Okay, good. Thank you, and it's your birthday today. Yay! Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you. All right, so, Leave a comment wishing Mike a happy birthday if you choose. And it's not, do you know when, when, what day do you pick as Ducky's birthday? Uh, December 15th. Okay, is that Sagittarius. the Sagittarius. Is that the day you guys met? Uh, no, we met, uh, like, uh, on my birthday, actually. I got her on my birthday, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry, uh, like 13 years ago. Okay. Yeah. But why did you pick December 15th? Uh, cause I knew she was about three months old. And, you know, I got into astrology. She's definitely a Sagittarius, <laughs> not a Scorpio. So. All right. And it, it works. December 15th is a great day. Yeah. She's yeah. a free spirit. All right. May I work with you today? Hmm. That seems... She's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Don't rush her. I know. She's already, she's already in it. May I, may... Would it be okay if we do a little chiropractic session? Okay. Hmm? No, I see this as a possible yes. Yeah. Especially when it's in the ear. In the ear, she whispered yes. So <laughs> is, it, is it okay if I get started? Please do. All right. And first I'm gonna just rub these muscles at the base of the skull between the occiput and the atlas. And I'm comparing them right to left as I do that. So she's getting a little bit of a massage and I'm also feeling the integrity of the muscles there on either side and I come down the neck and now I'm into the muscles along from the second to the seventh cervical. There's um, seven bones in the neck on almost all mammals except manatees and sloths. Um, but for example, like a giraffe will have seven bones in their neck and so will like a little chihuahua. So, you know, how is that possible? But that's because they're just different heights. Yeah. And then it varies in the thoracics quite a bit like dogs and cats have 13, we have 12. Horses typically have 18. Lumbars, we have five. Dogs and cats have seven. Horses, depending, but usually have six. And uh, so I wanna make sure I know that so I'm on the right spots. One of the things I wanna do is just check range of motion and a little tight at the top there because that should come all the way to 90 degrees. Ducky, bring your head down a little for me. And we can go. There, that just made you sneeze. Okay, but that did come down all the way to the sternum area, so that's good. And then we're gonna do left lateral flexion. Good, and the nose should come almost to the rib cage or the shoulder. Good. The one I didn't like 
was from the side. And it doesn't come higher than this, and it should come higher if possible. But I think I can make a change just with one single adjustment. So I'm gonna come into the Atlas, and there you go. There it goes. Did you hear it click a little bit? I did. Yeah, so now watch the difference now. Past 90. So she's got full range again. And that's really good if she's into astrology. Yeah. <laughs> Not astrology. Uh, you know, uh, star. Is it a stars? Yeah, astrology. 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 Yeah, yeah. Now she can look up at the stars. Yeah, she's like, oh, look yeah. at that. There's Orion's belt, my favorite landmark. Yeah. The Big Dipper. She's looking at me like, who is this guy? <laughs> and really shut up. There's more like it. All right, so now I'm at C5. There we go. Let's do this side too. This is C6, a little stiffer. Ooh, okay. Thank you. And I'm coming down the back, I'm into the thoracics. Now, a big area for any quadruped is once we're getting down to the lower thoracics and the beginning of the lumbars, we call that the thoraco, uh, the thoraco lumbar junction. And there's a lot of statistical chance of getting arthritis there. Yeah. So we, we want to work into that area. So here I am, I'm just working into this, these vertebrae. She's really giving it to me. She's like, yeah, just do a little more. Yeah, she's, she's all like, about it. She's like, this is whatever he's doing is good. We might be able to give you a manicure and a pedicure when you're done. Yeah. That'd be a whole day of spa treatment for you. This one seems stiff. Do you feel the difference here? Ducky, pay attention, okay? so. <laughs> Here I'm getting a good spring into the joint so it's moving nicely. Then when I come down to, let's see what number this, this is L7. So L7 is the lowest lumbar. Remember it would be our L5. And this one's stuck. Do you feel the difference? And that one's probably a little tender. So I'm gonna, there we go. Well, that clicked a little too. All right. <laughs> you woke her up. Okay. Had some, she had some reaction. Yeah. So that feels better now. Okay, that's moving. Now I'm at the sacral base, and that's tender. She walked away from that one. Let's see if she shakes, so give her a second. <laughs> Just watch her for a minute, this is fun. That's the shake, we like that. There you go. Ducky, come on back now. Duck, you have gotta scream, she's deaf. <laughs> come here, come here, Duck. Come here. Come. Come on. Wow. She's just um, she's a free spirit. <laughs> all right. So we might need, need you to bring her back. So this is where you might have to come into play. Okay. But I'm going to first do like a little arabesque on the right. Okay. And do you feel the doggy arabesque here? Stunning. Good. Now one's a little tender, but she probably doesn't do a lot of these anymore. Now that she's not in ballet class. I'm going to just hold it right here. So this is a stretch. So we're in extension. She doesn't want to do that very much, but it's good to hold. I'm holding the, uh, the femur, the upper thigh bone above the knee, so I'm not putting stress on the knee. And I'm just going to hold and stretch. So she's giving me this range of motion. And let it go. Now we're going to bring it forward. And we're going to also collapse it. Crack. Did you hear a crack? I heard that. I'm going to take it into adduction and abduction. My thumb is on the hip at the same time, my fingertips. And bringing that up. Very nice. Doggy arabesque. Beautiful. And then let that one go and bring this one forward. And then collapse the leg. Oop, it's cracking all, all over the place. Do a little abduction and hold. Good. I'm going to take the tail and move it every direction. Good. I'm going to come into the sacral base posterior. Maybe push up my knee for this one. There you go. That's the bad one. I'm oh. sorry, sweetie. Let's do one last one on that. I'm going to use the activator on that too. This is, this might be affecting your back. The tenderness here, I mean. Got it. Got it. 
That's the bad one. Okay. Let's do one last thing. I want to check the front shoulders. So we're going to spin around this way. Okay. I'm going to bring the front right leg up. And I'm holding the top here. Good. Tucky. There it goes. Shoulders a little stiff. You should hang from a chin-up bar a little bit and loosen those up. Have you ever done that? She is my daughter. <laughs> We've all got like big this shoulders. This is it. This is all we got. <laughs> all right, I think we are done. Okay. We're just gonna be good. I'm ready. <laughs> yes. Come to the other side. Did you hear that was his? <laughs> that was his fifth arm bar. You had something similar at L7, but he had L5. Okay. So now lie on your back. My back. Where yeah. is it? Where's my back? That one. That was one. Hold <laughs> like this. Oh my god. Big breath in and blow it out. What? <laughs> Did you hear a crack? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it feels good. I'm just like. You're <laughs> just like letting it out. Yeah. No, you're good. Wow, thank you. Beautiful. It feels nice, right? Yeah. All right. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Just to recap, I did a head to toe treatment with Ducky. I found some cervical stuff. Her extension was limited, so we got that back to full range of motion. I adjusted her lower cervicals. I adjusted a few spots down her thoracics and did a lot of work in her lumbar area. I worked on the hips. I did some stretching on the hips. And so uh, leave Ducky a nice comment. There we go. Well, that clicked a little too. All right. You woke her up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she had some. She had some reaction.